In today's show, we have a stand-up about parking permits. A story about a college signing. And to get to know your counselor segment. Man, there's nothing out here in outer space. I really wish that I could do something like SVTV Daily News Broadcast. I'm Augie Chappas, and this is your Daily News. Hey, Vikes, I'm Morgan. And I'm Augie, and your Daily News starts right now. Graduation is Sunday at 4 p.m. at the Expo Center. It will also be available to stream on YouTube. The end of the year is coming up, and so is laptop check-in. Check Schoology to see when you need to turn in your laptop. Attention all juniors. The Alumni Association is planning to sell t-shirts to raise money for scholarships. Create a design for the t-shirts to have a chance to win a prize. FCCLA is raising funds for its national competition. Until May 23rd, they will be selling burritos. Check Schoology for more information. This summer, be sure to purchase your parking pass online starting July 5th. Uh, here's Emery for more information. Hi, Vikes. I'm here with Officer McKay, and he's going to talk to us about our parking permits for next year. So how are students uh, able to get their parking permits? Uh, on July 5th uh, is the day they can actually start purchasing them online. And if they go to the USD 345 web store, yeah, I believe if you click in the browser section up there, it should have parking permits. At that time, go online, click on parking permits, and then it will redirect you to a different site where you actually have to um, fill out the information. You can check, you can, uh, it's, it's all random this year. Anybody can go on. It's kind of a first come, first serve. Get there, pick your spot, go online, fill out the paperwork, print out the final paperwork so you can bring it into me to get your actual permit. Thanks, Officer McKay. Now back to your anchors. Don't forget to make your purchase. Do you want to go to Rome and Florence in 2021? If so, contact Mr. McAllister for details. If you ordered a Running with the Bulls shirt and have not yet picked it up, please come to C3 to collect them. Sports physicals will be available from August 13th through the 14th. For more information, pick up a packet in the athletic department. Now after the break, we will see who has signed into a college recently. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. Now to your regularly scheduled program. Hey, why don't you just throw in the trash? That's a good idea. Hey, I thought I said you. Put that in the, trash. the end of the school year is coming up, so we made sure to give you a little step-by-step -step process on how to go about laptop checking. Step 1. Organize desktop materials. Step 2. Clean your device. Step 3. Back up your device. Step 4. Remove all personal items. Step 5. Bring charger to check-in. And last but not least, step number 6. Have your laptop fully charged. For everyone else, your laptop check-in will be from May 21st through May 23rd. Coach Tuck and former Coach Garman are providing a swim class for the 7th through 12th grade. For more information, check Schoology. 
Recently, a former student of Seaman High signed to cheer at Washburn University. Let's go learn more. I'm thankful for the Seaman community for just helping me and all my friends and everybody being there and supporting me. And I'm going to Washburn University. I really like that it's close to home and I'll be able to see my siblings and my boyfriend a lot. And I like the people that go there and the community and then my dad also went there so I'm following in his footsteps. I would like to thank my mother for not only supplying the funds to be a cheerleader but for coming to my games and supporting me there. I'm proud of Madison. I'm so glad that she's doing the cheer because that's her passion. She loves cheerleading so we're excited about her going on with that. This college isn't offering me very much. I'm kind of doing it more because it's fun and it's something I enjoy spending my time doing, but it is a very small scholarship. I think she wanted to stay close to home. I wanted her to put in for other places further away, but she really wanted to stay closer to home. I want to thank my coaches um, for just pushing me to be the best that I can be and giving me the opportunity to be captain senior year. We just are glad that she's had the coaches that have helped support her and um, all our friends and co-cheerleaders have, have helped her along the way because you can't get very far in cheerleading without all the other cheerleaders and coaches. <laughs> if you see Madison, be sure to congratulate her. That's all for sports. Now let's see how warm it'll be for graduation. Good afternoon to you. One final calm day, but what's not going to be calm today is the wind, especially after 4 o'clock this afternoon, picking up to anywhere between 30 and 40 mile per hour wind gusts out of the south, and that's going to bring in some warmer and more humid air, setting the stage for a slight risk of severe weather tomorrow across pretty much all of northeast Kansas. So let's time it out for you with our future radar. You can see here by one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, there could be a complex of showers and thunderstorms that moves up from Oklahoma and that could start the rain around here. So really late morning, early afternoon is when the rain could start and then off and on throughout the rest of the day. Some of these storms are the ones that we could be trucking strong to severe weather threats with them. You can see seven o'clock, maybe a line gathering in central Kansas before that pushes through and just waves of rain throughout the night. But overall, the trend should be after midnight for these storms to start to weaken a little bit more. In terms of severe weather, here's what we're looking at for the hazards. Tornado, wind and hail are all possible, not the greatest risks. And we can't rule out some excessive rainfall that could lead to flash flooding. But what's going to limit that is that it's been dry all week long. So the soil has had a chance to recover. However, additional rounds of rain Monday night through Tuesday morning will lead to two to four inches across many areas with locally higher amounts possible. That will increase our potential for flash flooding once we get into the first part of next week. Here's the seven day forecast. You can see we do cool down for graduation on Sunday. Highs in the mid to upper 60s before storms move in late Monday, Monday night and continue into Tuesday morning. Temperatures do recover though by the middle of next week with highs already back in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Have a great weekend. Now back to your anchors. That's all for today, Vikes. We are leaving you with another Get to Know Your Counselor segment. Have a great weekend. Um, I taught English and journalism before I became a counselor and I really liked the atmosphere that I had or the relationships that I was able to build with my, build with my publication students um, and um, as a teacher I realized how important having somebody in the building um, other than teachers who are also awesome resources when students you know, need somebody to talk to. Um, but I just decided that it was something that I wanted to look into and pursue. I try to have an open door policy in my office, so if my door's open, students can walk in anytime. Um, usually if my door's shut, it's because there's already somebody else in here. So um, I just want students to know that they're welcome um, anytime with anything that, that they bring in here.
I think that one of the most important things about the counseling program here at the high school is um, that it just adds an extra layer of support for students. Um, so we have awesome and amazing teachers um, who really care about our students and they do a great job of reaching out. Uh, if they see somebody struggling or you know having a hard time, um, they do a really good job of of letting us know that hey, I think so and so might need just some extra support, and then we're able to connect with those people and um, and hopefully help them through whatever's going on.